Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Miss Coffee here and today we're back with a <laughs> unboxing. Yes. Now this unboxing, as you can see, comes to us from Lucy over at Star Or. Lucy contacted me and asked me if I would be willing to do an unboxing for her. And of course I said yes. I absolutely love Lucy over at Star Or. She has amazing kids and I've watched her grow her business so much. So thank you to Lucy over at Star Or. I really, really appreciate it. I hope all is well on your end. So without further ado, let's get into this. Let's see what she sent us. I hope you're all having a wonderful, wonderful day. So first things first, right out the bat. Boom, boom. We got two kits and we got two, a little something extra in there. We got a little something extra in there. We're gonna go through those extras in a few minutes because right now we wanna get through these kits. First one we're gonna get through is Be Your Own Queen. Yes, look at that beauty. It's a 45 by 58 centimeter full square and it just says level four. So level four diamond painter. I'm gonna guess that's close to expert or something. I don't know. Probably means it has a lot of confetti. So first things first, you gotta get into the plastic, okay? We're going to get through here. And of course, Star Or always has these little pamphlets that give you your legend on the back. I love this. Uh, I've always loved this uh, pamphlet that she gives you with your stuff on the back. So you have a walking legend, but it's big enough where you don't necessarily lose it. And of course, it also comes with your instructions. I remember that when that was one of the first and only diamond paintings that she had. So there's your pamphlet with all your instructions. It tells you how many colors are in the kit and everything else. It tells you here that there are 24 colors in this kit. So not bad, not bad. So be your own queen here at the top. And we're going to unroll this. Now, of course, as usual, I am going to be a little worried about the wording on this because I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see it or not. Um, so in the picture, oh, hold on. So remember, I told you guys about the release papers, Lucy is the one that gives you those gigantic release plate papers uh, with your kits. So that is where I get my release papers from. And so on the image itself, which was on the bag, as you can see, there's some words in her hair, but you might not be able to see them just because of the scale of the picture. You can see a couple of them. Like I can see queen up here. And then I can see queen down here. But a lot of the other words are a little hard to make out. And that's okay. You won't know exactly what it looks like until you unbox it. The first person that says this looks like me, we're going to have words. So with that said, we have release papers. We have our walking legend. And then we have our toolkit from Lucy. Now, if you've never ordered from Lucy and you've never seen her toolkit, I'll go through it real quick for you. Though, Yeah. So we have branded tweezers. And these are the dull tipped ones, which is the ones I really, really like. These are the dull tipped ones. So you're not going to shank yourself by accident using them. I do love those. And of course, they're branded. And you know, Miss Coffee love her branding. So we also have a paint or a blue squishy and a pen. You're going to have some multi-placers in here. You're going to have blue wax and a tray. Yeah, I don't care about that. This is the creme de la resistance. Now, these are those good baggies that I love kitting up diamond paintings in. So whenever you order from Lucy, she actually gives you some. So if you place enough orders, I'm just saying. <laughs> so that is what is in your Star Order Toolkit. Uh, yeah, most of y'all don't care. Some of y'all might, but whatever. So we're going to just stick everything back in the bag. Just going to stick it back in there. Close it up, put it off here to the side. And then of course we have our drills. So now this kit has 24 colors. It does measure true to size. I do know her, her kits do measure true to size. You are going to get a legend on the bottom over here. You will also get a checklist at the bottom here. So let's go down so you can see this checklist. Tells you what color, how many bags of that color you will have. So it tells us there's four packages of 310 and then one package of everything else. And it tells you the quantity in the bag and then the DMC number at the top in case that list never made sense to you. Now you know what that's, that list means. Over here on the side, we of course have our legend and she does mostly alphabet and numbers. So you do get a couple of capital letters, couple of lowercase letters, and then a number or two thrown in there. Um, Lucy also does, usually she puts her special gems at the bottom. I'm not sure if this one has any special gems because it's square. And I've noticed that a lot of companies don't tend to do a whole lot of square uh, enhancements. And I'm not really seeing anything razzly dazzly in the bag. So let's take a look at these squares because I am a little cautious about squares nowadays just because I have yet to find some really good squares. 
up or work with them really good quick. And I'm not going to take them all out here. Well, maybe we will. There's only 24 colors. You got this. All right, so let's see what comes in here. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bags of 310. Now down here it says you're only supposed to have four, but we have seven. We have seven. And that's okay. But we have seven bags of 310 here. And if we take a look at those squares, there are little dimples in the bottom of them, which is okay. It's when they prick the bubble to make sure there's no bubbles in the, the drill itself. Um, you won't know how good the drills are until you actually start working with them. But just looking at them, they don't look too horribly bad. They look a little uh, dusty, maybe. I don't know if that's just me or what. I don't know if I can even pick it up on camera. They look a little dusty, but that's not, again, a big deal. I get I usually clean my drills up after I'm finished anyways. So we have seven bags of 310. We have a bag of 312, 321, 322, 334, 336, 435, which I'm hoping is a skin color because we have Y and F. So F is 920 and Y is 3854. So let's let's keep going. 435 is A. Do we have any A's on her skin? I see a, I see a couple of A's, but not a lot. Not enough to make up her skin tone. So let's see if we can find those skin tone colors. 550, 606, 741, 782, 797. Because it's real hard to get skin tones right, apparently, when you're doing POC. So a lot of the times we get red skin tones, which is okay for some images, not okay, okay for all of them. So you kind of want like this honey color for her skin from what the picture looks like. So 798, 820, double trouble there, 898, 920, 922. Did I say 920 twice? 798, 820, 820. 898, 920, 922, 946, double trouble there. We have 3325, 3371, double trouble. 3755, 3771, 3837, 3854, double trouble. So there is a skin tone there. That's going to be this side here. And let's see what number F is. F was uh, 920. So this color. Actually, those two colors aren't bad. That's actually one of my favorite skin tones for doing POC is 920 and 921. So I think she might have hit the nail on the head with a skin tone on this one. So if you've been looking for a really good POC canvas, check out Star Or and see about the Be Your Own Queen. I, she, I think they hit the nail on the head with it. All right, so let's go ahead and do a little movie magic and get that back in the bag. All right, so let's take a look at the drill fill, okay? So again, looking at her skin tone, we are going to get those colors that match that skin tone really pretty well. Um, I wish she had more skin tone. I would love to see a bigger POC piece with more skin from coming from Star Or, just because if they can nail the head on the head, the nail on the head with just her face, I would love to see what they could do with a full body. But this image is absolutely stunning. Again, she has 24 colors, and as you can see, we're gonna bring you back up. The symbol clarity is very good. The legend is a little small, which is great that they give you that there. So that is Be Your Own Queen from Star Or. I'm gonna go ahead and put this one away quick and we're gonna pull out the next one. Just cause I know, I know, I know, I know I'm super excited about that one as well. So we're gonna roll this up, kind of put it off to the side here and we're gonna pull out this one. This one is called Pirate Ship. Isn't that pretty? Now, the confetti on this is probably gonna be real, even though it says it's only a level three, which means that Be Your Own Queen is more difficult, apparently, than this one. So, let's take a look, shall we? And of course, she is, she does have legally licensed images, meaning you can look on her website and on her kits to see the name of the artist, so Valerie is gonna be the name of this artist. I cannot pronounce her now it's last name. I do apologize. I just don't wanna butcher it for 20 minutes. So Pirate Ship has 20 colors. So pretty. Sad part is I don't like doing dark colors because they make me sad, but I also love dark color paintings because they sparkle more. So we have that same toolkit. 
this kit is a 37 by 47. So it is not big at all, okay? Not big at all. It is actually a, what I would consider a snack size because it's a little bit bigger than a 30 by 40. So that is the kit there. So as you can see, it's gonna be working with a lot of dark colors. At the top here, you have the name, you have the branding, and you have the artist. Oh, sorry, I'm pushing it all over the place. And you have the artist, and of course, you have your little legend at the top here. And of course, there's gonna be another little legend down here at the bottom. And so now we have our walking legend. We also have that checklist that's on every kit that she has in case you miss drills or drop them or misplace them or what have you. We also got the release papers. Again, if you order enough from Star Or, you'll be set on release papers and bag the good baggies for a long, long time. So I'm just gonna put these upside down underneath something heavy because it'll flatten them out. And this is a round kit. Ooh, those are some good looking rounds. All right, so let's take a look to see what colors are in this kit because I'm curious because I'm seeing bright colors but the kit itself is dark all right so and she does have them in numerical order meaning they are they do go from number one to 20 so let's see what we got here 154 823 33 71 311 915 apparently oh she didn't have this row in order um 915 not what 3325, 312, 3755, 322, 3837, 33, I'm sorry, 334, 211. Eh, eh, there's your AB. There's your first AB of this kit. Now, if you are new to Diamond Painting Star Ore or any company that has something called an AB and you're wondering what that stands for, AB stands for Aurora Borealis. It is an iridescent coating that is put onto the drills to make them sparkle just a little bit brighter. When you lay them down next to the regular drills, it will also pick up the light from those regular drills and make them sparkle brighter as well because if one shines, we all shine, you heard? Now, 218 is our, or sorry, 211. I can't work today. 211 is our first AB of this kit. So let's see if we have any more, shall we? We have 550. We have 775. We isn't 775 like an electric blue color? Somebody write that down in the comments. We have 796, 823, 797, 798, 823 again. We have 823s kind of spread out all over the place over here. So we have 799, 800, 820, 798, 820 again. And that's all the drills that come in this kit. So they doubled because I guess you need more than just one bag of those colors. So... I'm gonna go ahead and get these back in the bag. There we go. And of course, we're gonna take a look at the drill field to make sure it's nice and clear. Not that I have any worries about it because Star Order, I haven't had any problems with their drill field quality. They usually produce pretty good clear symbols. And there you have it. So be your own queen and pirate ship, both available over at Star Or. I, of course, will link these canvases down below. But we're not done yet, folks. We're not done yet. Remember, there was something special with these kits. We have these two, which look like diamond painting pins. So I'm not sure if she's selling these now or what, but I would urge you to go check a look at her website to see if maybe this is something she has started selling. So we're gonna pull this out of here. Oh my gosh, that is so pretty. Okay, first I noticed you get a gold multi-placer, which is a size seven. And then you get a curved mo uh, one placer or a single placer. But look at that. Isn't that adorable? I don't think they move, but you got a little sand cloth in there. I'm not even sure what that is. That's something with a, a scarf on. You got Santa in there. That is so cute. And of course, it also comes with a four placer already on it. Then we have that curved single placer and these do come out. So you don't have to necessarily use them, but if you do like them, they come with it. So that is the first pin. That is adorable. And let's get to this second pin here. Let's see what the second pin is. I'm seeing pink. That's all I can see right now. Oh. All right. And then this one comes with a silver placer. So this one has two multi-placers on it so if you have a seven 
and a four, sorry, and a four placer. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Again, I'm not sure. And she, of course, gave you a curved single placer as well in the bag in case you don't want it double sided. Um, so you got a gold and I got a gold and a silver. We got two acrylic pens. So that is awesome. So again, huge thank you to Lucy over at Star Or. I really, really appreciate it. Um, so if you are interested in either one of these kits or just want to see what new inventory Lucy has had, because it's been a while, please, I urge you, go check out Lucy. She always gets two big old thumbs up from Miss Coffee because she does such great work over there. So if you are interested in these kits, again, look down in the description box of this video and there will be links to both of these canvas. And of course, you can just go wander the website if you would like to. But with that said, I got to get out of here. So I hope you guys had enjoyed this unboxing. If you did, if you wouldn't mind leaving me a thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. It helps the algorithm let people find me. So I, I would greatly appreciate it. Or put a thumbs down. I don't care. Either way, I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day. Thank you for stopping by. And always remember to stay caffeinated. Stay crafty. Stay safe. And always try to remember to be kind to others because you never know what somebody else is going through. Be courteous because it's the right thing to do. And always be cool. Bye, guys.